Welcome back, and it has made international headlines, the situation between Rihanna and Chris Brown. How does that affect us here in the territory? News Channel 8's Wes Small investigates. The Rihanna-Chris Brown scenario continues. It's been about two weeks since um, music and, and rap celebrities Rihanna and Chris Brown um, got into an altercation that has made now international news, um, but deeper than that, We'd like to look at it here in our territory and what's going on with our youngsters, teenagers. Of course, I don't have to tell you all too well about teenage violence in our territory, but what about the lovers, the boyfriends and the girlfriends? Yes, domestic violence is definitely um, in that area as well, unfortunately. Your children uh, being battered and abused by their spouses. With that then, let's go to the foremost authority in our territory, uh, the Women's Coalition. And that would be Miss uh, Mary Mingus and Clima Lewis as they are co-directors of that organization. We're going to put out some help numbers uh, for you out there if you are going through problems of domestic violence. All this now to where we do have a serious teen dating problem here in our territory as well because our young people seem to think it's okay to hit or hurt another person and that behavior is okay and they make up and go back with it. And we all know that a lot of the teen violence stems from behaviors they learned in the home. That's the first thing we need to be clear. Now, I'm not going to say 100%, but I will say about 70 to 80% of the teen violence we have seen experiencing out in the street now is where kids are picked up in the home. When you grow up in the home and all you see is your mother getting beaten domestic violence, then you take on those behaviors as well because that's what you learn. Now, I have had the opportunity to hear some young men and young women say, because I I saw my mother getting beat, then I'll never hit another woman. But then we all we hear them say that, but we see it play out differently in their relationship. Why we're really concerned is that we want young people to understand in this territory that there is no excuse for domestic violence. There's no excuse for you to go upside somebody's head and hit them and beat them and slap them up, whether it's a boy or a girl. And we know it takes place because we've seen it. That's why, Wes, we go into to the schools. We do teen dating violence workshops. We're available 24-7 to come in any school, any class and do these workshops because we feel that they are an issue. We know the kids are joking now and using the Chris and the uh, Rihanna issue as a joke. I mean, boys going, you don't want me to give you a Rihanna or a Chris Brown thing. They all take it as a joke. And we here take it really serious because we've seen young women so scared to death that the parents had to take a restraining order out to keep these violent young men away from them. So our message is real clear. Violence is not okay whether it's the girl hitting the boy or the boy hitting the girl. And it's not okay to go back. Once they strike you, they're going to keep striking you, especially if they strike you and you make up, they're going to do it again. What is the use then of having counseling and and and, and uh, information and education about relationships. Certainly, you're not telling people, okay, if he hits you, then we want you to completely never see this person again. Let's say that they do go to some, some the, the counseling. Let's say they go through all of your programs. Isn't it, isn't it repairable then in some cases? Well, no. Definitely people could be get help and be rehabilitated. I don't want to send that wrong message. I think that if young women learn their self-worth and have a high self-esteem, it won't get to the nature where they feel like they have to be abused to be loved in a relationship. And for young men, if they're confident about who they are and have a good self-esteem, they won't need to hit either. Whereas it's a matter of teaching them unlearned behavior behaviors that they've already learned. When I say somebody hits you and you stop, you go away, I mean when they hit you, let it stop there. You stay in a relationship that's going to continue unless there's some form of intervention. So let me make that clear. Right. In a relationship, you in love, your boyfriend or girlfriend go upside your head. You need to stop and take an intervention right there at that moment and get some help. We are available. We, I have child advocates, I have counselors, I have of outreach workers. We're available 24-7 for teenagers, for young people. That's our specialty. We love them. We don't want to see them grow up as adults exhibiting the same behavior that they exhibited.
visiting as young people. We are so absurd, so concerned about this whole Chris Brown and Rihanna thing because we worried about the message it's sending. It's sending the message that it's okay to be in love, beat up on each other, and go back together. And that's not okay if you're not getting any assistance. Yes, I heard that Chris was going to his preacher to get some help, and we don't. I don't even validate that as enough help. You have programs that specialize on working with abuse. You have batterers intervention for the batterers, and you have support groups for the victims. And we do family counseling. Yes. Seven three nine two seven two. If there's any young people listening, call that number. Lutheran Service also has a teen line. Number is seven one three eight three three six. Well, there you have it. We'll have to wait and see how the Rihanna and Chris Brown scenario continues. But nonetheless, when it comes to domestic violence, you just should not put your hands on another person. That's male, female, old, or young. I'm Wes Small for News Channel 8.